Joined by a lovely co-host. This is a collab that I've been wanting to do for a while. <laughs> and we're both Devil May Cry fans. We, she wanted to explain some of her lore, some of the stuff, and near the end we might uh, talk about a partnership comic thing because I pitched the idea. Uh, this there was a lot of technical problems, but while recording this, and that's completely on me, not her, me. <laughs> Uh, okay. life is not a box of chocolates. Um, so yeah, uh, she will explain like what, like how she got into the series is because like I'm more of an OG Devil May Cry fan. She's the the I mean, more of the reboot. Uh, so uh, we kind of uh, we both kind of bounce of the Devil May Cry. How will you like e either one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the OG Dante. You're like I like the. <laughs> so we kind of no, I, I like them both, but I guess with the reboot, they're um, you know, pun in, no pun intended, they're in limbo right now. So that gives me a lot of room to do. So yeah. Well, that is definitely pun, and I like it. <laughs> um, I honestly, there's so much. I know you have a lot of lore and uh, a lot of stuff in plus. I think, uh, like, if the people see this in, like, in a video format, there's, like, a lot of disjointed footage because of the way we edited it, or I edited it, because I am a doofus. Yeah. Uh, but I will leave when the video okay. actually drops the links to your video where you have, like, the footage and stuff like that, the full footage for people to watch. I really hope they check out your channel. I'll leave the link in the description. <laughs> All that jazz, because I, I, I try to be awesome. <laughs> I try. He will try. Uh, and also, what else? Digital art. And I've started yeah. to do a lot more digital because, like, I, I think it would, it's like we can kind of mix together where the same thing I actually did as a, like a partner with a friend. She has done uh, this has been hotel like fan graphic novel site thing, and she pencils, inks it. And sometimes I'll take that and like digitally color it. Um, right. So, like, I, I kind of, we could do like a similar thing. Um, but, uh, I will shut the hell up <laughs> and, uh, let you talk about okay. some of your stuff for, like, the viewers and other stuff. Uh, but yeah. Might pitch okay. in there with the conversation. <laughs> uh, All right. So, I guess, um, hi. Hi, guys. My name's Celeste. Well, you can call me Celeste. That's my user handle. And, um... I guess you want to, uh, well, the audience would want to know why I gravitated more towards uh, the reboot, the reboot version. Yeah. Um, I guess, well, one, the obvious reason is that it's now, yeah, in, in limbo. So it's pretty much free for all. And then second, I think is that I don't know. I guess I just gravitated towards the characters a little more, and even the setting, um, the setting, the artistic uh, vision, and sonically, like it's not just the soundtrack from Combi Christ. I think it's because um, the other half of the music for DMC Devil May Cry was noisier, so they were more um, the ambience. The way the ambience, like, like punk rock like, type of music. Yes, um, ambience, uh, metal. Well, hmm. That's more for Combi Christ. Noisia is more on dubstep, and I believe like there's a lot of they're more on these weirder side of genres in Europe. So, yeah, I don't know. That's just really out of the box, and you know, I'm I'm kind of. I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like that. I'm. 
I kind of so, like the old music a little bit, and if if it, it, but I liked a little bit of elements from the reboot. There's like the the way the world design and stuff. Like I have my gripes yeah. with it as like an OG fan because like I like the old the OG series, and there's elements I love about that, and there's also elements I don't like about it. So I I, I see right. what you mean. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> was, yeah, I'm filming on our bedroom. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, but I guess, okay, I'll also start with how I just decided to do a, you know, fan fiction of it. I, this was a, this was actually a collaboration. Like before, I was just doing my own s- stuff, like my own thing, just doing fan art in my, sp- uh, in my free time. Wait, when did... DMC Devil May Cry come out like around January 2013. I so believe I was only around. Um, I was just I think. I don't know. It was a I little it was bit around 2013. Yeah. It's January around January 2013, and I was actually uh, fresh from college, so I just I just finished college, <laughs> and um, so. I guess I had some free time before having to go be an adult or something. And I guess and DMC Devil May Cry was my adult. last hurrah. I, what? Sorry? I said before life takes your soul being an adult. Yeah. <laughs> In some ways, yeah. Yes. And you know what? Um, yeah, even before that, like around 2010, so leading up to their um, release, like, that was the last years of my um, college life and then to adulthood. So I'm basically almost the same age as Reboot Dante. So that's why (laughs) I think there's some subconscious thing, psychological thing that was going on. Like, I wanted to do, you know, just wreck around stuff, just be who I want to be for one last time before, you know, but you know what? It, uh, fiction is just does. a way to, yeah, just a way to release your, uh, I don't know, just be yourself for a little while. And you know what? Now that I'm older, I, <laughs> I don't want to say my age, but now that I'm oh, crap. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, where was I? Okay. So I started my fan fiction so after i've experienced the game itself so around 2013 then i only started to pick up on just doing more and more fan arts around 2015 so like i was just mucking around like i didn't like yeah i i was in my day job and then got, coming back home just you know relax and stuff and then okay i want to do a little fan art of dmc and you know what um also around this time, I think I got contacted with an old schoolmate, and we were in a creative uh, creative writing class before, and he uh, he brought up it was a long conversation. Uh, we were just catching up, and then he brought up about uh, DMC Devil May Cry because we he knows I play games and I know he play he plays games and stuff like that. But, you know, um, he's, he brought up the idea about, you know, why don't, why don't we just do, you know, fan fiction? Just do your fan fiction, I'll do mine, and let's see where it goes. Yeah. Uh, it's still up, by the way. It's there. <laughs> we, I, I was the host. Uh, I hosted the account for AO3. So, um, to, you know, I have to put a link to that in the description of the video. Uh, when the when... anyway, actually, I just wanted to point out that, yeah, it's still up there, but I'm actually very hesitant in sharing that because, for oh. one, he had he had been, um, at the negative side of it. Like, I think he, I mean, we all know, like, back in the day before DMC5 came out, the DMC reboot. Just really rub a lot of people, people wrong. People were so pissed. And if and you so like much, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you so much 
just post anything. This, this was... Um, I think a lot of people now have kind of like softened up just a little bit. DMC fans have a little bit to the reboot. A lot of DC, DMC fans have softened. So I think... Posted an AU version of the classic DMC. Like, it's yeah. a different take. Like, they're just... Um, it's mostly Virgil, Virgil-centric because I, I like Virgil more, actually. <laughs> but anyway, so... <laughs> you and me are two anyway. people. I love Virgil but uh, more a little bit than Dante sometimes. I love Dante because I, I personality-wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I connect with him. But Virgil, yeah. <laughs> He's also a complex, amazing character. <laughs> DMC Devil May Cry left off. So it just um, it just felt natural for the two of us. Like we said that, okay, if you want to make a fan fiction, just why don't we just start from where it ended? Just begin from where it ended. And then we were bouncing off. We actually um, our very first fanfic collab actually involved with um, jumping forward like years later. But then that's that's kind of what we felt like was wrong about the first try. So we deleted that one. And now this one, um, the current one, um, this is set. Um, it's set in the same universe. It's set in the same at setting uh, time. Um, it's only uh, like, so the last time that DNC Devil May Cry left off was that um, it was a bit ambiguous, right? Like Dante and Cap are the only, it's the only two of them left. And Virgil became, you know, like he had it, he had his own tragic downfall. Yeah, as so, in the D- DLC, pun, pun intended. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, Virgil's downfall. Yeah. So um, we were like, okay, so everything is still kind of uh, out there. Like, it's still open-ended. So why don't we just make a sequel where we try to make sense of where they are after that? So we literally just decided to set our new sequel, like, just a few days later, after the events of the first game. Yeah. So what what are they doing now? So basically, we kind of pictured Limbo City now that the demons are clearly all over, you know, the human realm. Uh, we kind of pictured that it's almost like an apocalyptic kind of scenario, but it's not like an all-out, really uh, very bad apocalypse. It's more like the humans are actually just fine. They're actually fending for themselves, but like in the most like bloody, very warlike um, kind of perspective. Like they, they're kind of saying that, okay, so these demons exist. We're going to lynch almost everyone. We're going to make sure that we have to find humans. Like they're going to try to separate the humans, the good guys, from the bad guys from the demons so like the the humans are like it's like if they're not if they're demons we lynch them we we we, yeah (laughs) it's almost like a witch hunt or they're making their own demon hunts and i guess you know we're kind of left with this kind of moral and ethical dilemma like we kind of question like okay so humans are going to be okay right but like What's the what's the issue here? Like, what are we what are we as humans really doing when we're trying to like uh, segregate or try to like find the like a needle on a haystack, like the evil needle on a haystack? Like, what do we do with this demon? Of course, like most humans are going to answer, like, okay, that we just eliminate this demon, right? Because they're the bad guys. Like, they've controlled us for years. But then, but there's all like demons that are good, and they wouldn't even know that, like Dante or maybe even yeah. anybody else. That like, and that's like the even a bit of a question, even in the OG series. 
Yeah, exactly. Like, because there's Phineas himself. Like, he was the one, like, he described himself like a political prisoner. So, like, not all the demons are, like, animalistic or, like, one one track minded. So, their demons are, I guess, being portrayed in a, like, nuanced and complicated way. And that's where, like, both Dante and Cap are trying to figure out, like, okay, so we're trying, we're supposed to be protecting humanity, but like, we're both supernatural ourselves. I'm like in Dante's perspective, like I'm a Nephilim, like uh, they're gonna know like my history with the demons. Like, what are they gonna do about this? Like, I was a wanted man under the demon um, perspective. But then now they're going to investigate me. Like I don't want that. Like I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be another wanted man on the on the humans' perspective this time. Like I've already done crap. Uh, I've already done my time. A lot of crap under them, even though they were controlled by demons. Like humans can be, you know, crappy sometimes. Yeah, so, like can be completely utter dicks. <laughs> yeah. So like that's that kind of like um i don't know uh moral or even like psychological perspective that dante is going to have because he wants to make do with the uh he wants to make do with his promise like his own new proclamation that oh he can be a protector for humanity but like that has a lot of consequences and then of course there's cap he has his new friend like of course she's human but then all the things that she has witnessed, like she she represents the best of humanity, but that doesn't mean that, you know, like to another human, like who is she? What is she? Like what what does she how is she special uh, against us, like compared to us? Like yeah. how do we like you know, like uh I guess as a human, like with Kat, how is she going to deal with fellow humans themselves? Like, who didn't understand that the demons were controlling the the human world for most of their lifetime? So only a few humans, like Kat, were the only ones who were like a witness to this supernatural event. Like, they were the only ones who knew. Yeah, and plus the fact you could have an angle of, well, you know, you got I I I've been seeing this stuff, and you guys treated me like an outcast and a freak, and like like I was crazy. But guess what? I'm not. That would be another angle. Yeah. Something you could go with. Also, I think uh, Dante and Cat would have a very interesting relationship because near the end, they're walking off, and he smacks her ass. So it's like, oh my god, no. <laughs> I uh, I tell among DMC. <laughs> I tell among among DMC reboot fans, like they there's some Dante cat shippers, yeah. but then there are also some Virgil cat shippers. So uh, it was always for me personally. Yeah, I said there's shippers mostly every everywhere when it comes to fans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Personally, for me, I, I I'm I'm neutral because. I feel like Cat Cat can do better. Like no way. No. No, not I, not not even Dante. No. I, no. Think, <laughs> I think they would have like a, a I think they would have like a relationship like Nico and uh uh and uh what is her name? Freaking uh Nico and uh Nero. Uh basically where it's yeah, like exactly. Yes, but like sibling ish kind of in a way. It's it, it's very 50-50 where it's like friends with benefits occasionally but not completely. <laughs> as is Oh uh, no. That. No, well, not the benefits. Take drinks, she drinks. There's there's no way. Like just occasional it's, it's like a Penny and Leonard from Big Bang Theory, like the OG series, like like occasionally they would be like they're friends, but sometimes that they they would like she would get drunk, hook up, or like basically be dumb. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, no. it's technology. Uh, <laughs> dear God. No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I I feel. 
I feel a little iffy about that with Kat. I don't know. I'm very protective of her. Just <laughs> just cuz I just feel like she can do better. Yeah. I think I think it would be kind of like more just less flirty after a while. Like it would be kind of like uh freaking chat noir and and and, and ladybug. It would be flirty but occasional <laughs> okay. hit on the ass or something. Dante's a, a, a butthead. Uh, and that's all it can go. <laughs> I think maybe they could have okay. tried it. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you write it in, like they tried, like kind of be more romantic, and but like it's like, yeah, let's let let's not. This isn't gonna work. Let's like, we can fly, we can have fun, but like no. Uh, just to keep winning. With like, I think that would be testing the waters, and then yeah, testing the waters, and then realize that mm, like they're not meant to be. And plus, like Virgil, <laughs> like she still. You know, it's oh my God. Yeah. yeah, there's that too. There's that complication. That's yeah. That's why there's a lot of like Virgil and Cat Chippers. But it, I, I'm staying neutral with that one. Like I feel like Cat can do better. Yes. Um, and I, you know what? It's a funny thing because we're going back and forth about Dante and Cat's relationship. This is exactly how we were arguing before. Like me. Like besides the DMC fandom, I would exchange um, ideas with my friend, yeah. my collab, my former collaborator about this, and we just, you know, he was he was uh, into Dante and Cat before, but I was like, okay, uh, besides, you know, just wanting some romance, like there has to be more reason to this, right? Yes. And you know what, we That's just came to the standstill, like. Uh, conflict and uh, a lot of other things. It has to have like a mixture. I think, like even Amity and Luce, it didn't start out as lovers. Like you know, there was like they they started out like enemies, and Amity was like a bit of a bully, and then then like they they, they kind of slowly developed things. Like that's and I, and this is completely different. Like that's Al House, but still, you know, that's the best part of like. Mm. Okay. But back to what you're saying. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And no, no, it's okay. Uh, we we just decided that. Uh, well, I I had it my way. Like I I said to him that you, you know, uh, Dante is a is a philanderer. Like he's he's been around. <laughs> he goes around the town, man. Like why would he commit to cat? There's gonna be a lot of. There's plenty of fish in the sea and. I think you know Donnie's gonna be a fisher, a fisherman. Yeah. Anyway, so why not? <laughs> uh, uh, women centric and ass. Yes. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just go stuff. with that. I think. Like, yeah. So he was like, "Okay, you know what? Yeah, I, I see your point. Let's make, let's just make Dante hook up with a lot of hot, hot characters. Make more hot characters." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, sure, we got a deal." No Dante and Cat, but Dante can have hot characters, other hot characters. There you go. Yeah, he's like, he's like, let's so make. That's why I. Everyone. It's like that scene yeah. from uh, Hasbro Hotel with uh, uh, with Cherry Bomb and uh, and uh, Sir Pinches, where he's like, he's trying to to get with her, but he's like, he's so he's so nervous. He's like, you know what? I'll just fuck everyone. And it's like, he's like. Yeah, She's there like, you go. Like that's that. that's the energy. Insert clip. This collab was very fun to do. Uh, there was a lot of uh, unused footage for this video that I had to cut for time. I'm going to be releasing sometime in the next couple of days a un, like a unlisted like podcast style format of the collab. So uh, you guys will cl can see most of the a lot of the footage. Uh, that was <laughs> where we, she was explaining a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff that was not cut for time. Uh, and you guys can see that and it'll be pretty cool. Um, and I will probably release that uh, sometime soon. Uh, so keep an eye out. This collab was pretty fun. Uh, it, it, it was, we had a really good time recording it. Uh, hope to do it again. 
Uh, and, and next time will be less technical problems, but uh, yeah.